Hi, my name is Jeff Mullen. I'm a neurosurgeon at the University of Buffalo Neurosurgery. We're here today to talk about SI joint uh, dysfunction and possible surgical treatments. So the SI joint, or sacred iliac joint, is sort of the bony surface where the sacrum joins the iliac wing. So it's not quite the spine, not quite the hip, just the bones in between there where the, those two areas come together. SI joint pain can arise from many different pathologies. Uh, most commonly it's just a degenerative condition from arthritis and wear and tear in the SI joint. A lot of patients have a falling trauma or uh, postpartum patients or even infectious. And in my practice, a lot of patients with deformities either before or after surgery have some SI pain. SI joint pain is unfortunately very common. It's often, I think, misdiagnosed. Or SI joint dysfunction is often mimicked at various other complaints, either low back pain, hip pathology, lumbar radicular pain, uh, or some combination of all those pathologies leading to the patient's discomfort. Some of the ways we can diagnose SI pain or SI dysfunction would be through the clinical history, patients reporting a positive Fortin finger sign. During my clinical exam, we rely on provocative maneuvers. There's a series of those which are very specific for diagnosing SI dysfunction. Uh, however, the gold standard for confirming diagnosis would be SI injection. So although many patients are diagnosed with SI dysfunction, not many patients actually need surgery. Oftentimes they can get relief with conservative management, such as anti-inflammatories. If they progress to SI injections, I often counsel patients that injections are both diagnostic and therapeutic. So diagnostic because it helps us confirm that the SI joint is what's the cause of the pain, and hopefully the therapeutic relief, uh, which lasts long, and they don't need to have surgery. If a patient is uh, confirmed to have SI dysfunction and doesn't get the durable relief that they need from the SI injection, I'll counsel them on a possible SI fusion using uh, the iFuse. For that, we'll do that in a same-day surgery setting where they'll have surgery, go home that same day, a small little three centimeter incision over their hip, where we'll put the implants across the joint to hold those motion segments together. I use uh, SI bone products because they have the longest track history with over 70,000 uh, patients having gone through the procedures. SI Bone's been pretty active in sponsoring multiple clinical trials to validating the results. So if any of the symptoms we described today have you think you might have SI dysfunction or SI pain, perhaps see you at University of Buffalo Neurosurgery. So please call and schedule a point with us soon.